Artsy Gamer 7 and welcome back to uh, some more <laughs> Fire Emblem Creative Sim, which is the last video for Fire Emblem um, for now. Uh, I am still, so like I've mentioned before, I actually have a little wheel that I will spin every once in a while um, to choose what the next cast series is, or every other cast series. One cast series, I'll spin the wheel. The next cast series, I will pick. Just so that every once in a while, if there's something like I'm real urgent, like real like eagerly wanting to do that is on my mind, that I'm like, I just really want to do this. Or I really want to go back and make like a series two of this. Or whatever it may be. Then, so that gives me an opportunity to do that. But then I have so many cast ideas also. And I know sometimes I might constantly keep putting one in the back that would be fun to do if I would actually just try it. I have made a little wheel that I will spin and every once in a while it will decide. So I had picked to do Fire Emblem so the next one was spin the wheel and I already know what it is and I actually have already created the first sim for that series. But for now we are here with Fire Emblem. <laughs> In the last video, I talked about why this was going to be, like, the last two videos. Because I originally was saying, like, I had quite a few more characters already picked out. Um, or randomly picked out, anyway. That I was going to create. But because of, like, health things going on and work things going on and then also my vacation. I had taken, I'd had, like, a few weeks where I wasn't posting anything and or it was very few videos and I just felt like um, it had been a while since I originally had started this so I was sort of like you know what uh, I I think it's just time to go ahead and move to the next cast series because I never want a cast series to be going on like a really long time unlike my challenges that I do obviously I'm gonna keep playing those until I finish the challenge but my cast series, I don't want them to go on for too long. One, I want to give different cast series a try, but also just because switch it up every once in a while. We will be on to a different cast series by next episode, but for now we have this final Fire Emblem cat create a sim because I'd already had this one created before all, all everything had happened basically. And oddly enough, this is actually my favorite character from the game. Which made me excited and not excited to make this character at the same time. Um, <laughs> I find when it comes to characters who are my favorite, um, that I really, really like, I put almost more stress or, like, more pressure onto myself to try to get them more looking close to how they're supposed to be. Or, like, you know, being more critical of them because they are my favorite characters. So, it's like, if I create a character who I don't necessarily not like, but they're at least not my favorite, then it's like, okay, cool, yeah, I'm having fun with this, whatever. And if they turn out good, that's great. But with my favorite characters, if they don't turn out as good, then, like, or, like, I'm more likely to find them not to have turned out as good. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, because I'm a little bit more critical of how they turn out <laughs> than some of the others. So it was like a, a, a excitement, but also a concern when I spent the will and got this character. Um, obviously, if you've seen the title and like the thumbnail, you know who this character is. But if not, it is going to be Diamat from Fire Emblem Engaged. And um, I won't get into the spoilers just yet because, because Fire Emblem is a... Newer, well, Fire Emblem Engaged, I should say, um, is a newer game. It's not that new, but it's new enough. Like, it hasn't been, like, out for a full year. So I don't, just in case, you know, I, I still want to have that moment of if you just want to watch the video and you don't want to hear me talk about certain details of the character and stuff like that, I will leave that towards the, towards the end. But first, I will just go over basic stuff before I do that, and I will let you know beforehand. But yeah, um, overall with Diamond, I was decently happy with how he turned out. Yes, uh, again, I am a little bit more critical of this character because this is my favorite character. Um, uh, at the end of Fire Emblem, uh, well, that's sort of spoiler. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that. Um, <laughs> I'll leave that to later. But yeah, so this is my favorite character, and I definitely made sure that my, my particular main character was 
close friends with this character, so, um, and oddly enough, when I would ask some people, because I had the collector's edition, so I had, like, the art book, I would, I was just curious to see if there was, like, if I was sort of predictable on who I would like, and I asked, um, my friends and my husband and, um, what else did I ask? I asked someone else. I think I asked some of my husband's friends, or at least one of them, because they actually were playing Fire Emblem. And then also, <laughs> I randomly asked his niece and nephew because they were over one day and they were staying the weekend while I'd been playing it. So I was just curious to see people who've known me for a really long time from people who haven't known me quite as long. Do I have someone... Can they figure out who they were? And I was like, can y'all pick out my top five people? If I remember correctly... One of my best friends and my husband got most of them right, which I guess, you know, makes sense. Everyone else only got a f one or two right, but hey, they still got some right. And guess what? The one that everyone got right was Diamond. I, I guess, you know, it's just like, yeah, that that's a character you would like. Like, everyone said him, so... <laughs> so yeah, okay. So I'm somewhat predictable when it comes to the characters that I like, even just looking at them, so yeah. Um, but I think because I he is one of the characters who technically has like a casual look um, that you see when you're at your like base location and then also like the garb of when they wear out to battle and things like that and the ones that you mainly see in the cutscenes. I made both of those for any of the characters who had that type of situation and he, obviously he was one of them so I like the one outfit that was more of his casual wear than like his every like all the time wear but he wears sort of like a a knight's outfit in a way uh so with sims even though i do have some cc for that i don't have as much when it comes to like armor sets so you know those are a little bit more hard and i don't purposely go to try to find cc for these creative sims that's part of the challenge to me is trying to get close with whatever i have without specifically trying to go look for it so that's part of the fun for me for these but yeah Ultimately, I actually was pretty happy for the most part with how he turned out. Yeah, there are certain things that I wish I would have got closer, definitely. Um, but I tried. <laughs> I tried to represent the fact that he does have, like, the one patch of hair in his head that is a little bit slightly different red. So, ultimately, in the end, I think if you looked at this character and I... Either you could probably figure out it was Diamant from Fire Emblem, or at least if I said it was Fire Emblem... You probably would be like, okay, yeah, that's that's Diamond. So hopefully he turns out that way. Let me know your your thoughts down in the comments. I will now proceed to go into details that are more of the game, just to you know, talk about the character and stuff like that. So if you do not want to hear any of those details, definitely feel free to mute the video so that you can still watch the Create a Sim process and eventually see the screenshots at the end of the video. But if you don't want any spoilers because the game isn't a year old yet, then I understand. Feel free to do so. I am giving anyone who watches this a moment to go ahead and mute their mic if they want to. If you don't care about spoilers or you already played the game, so, you know, whatever, just yeah, stick around, listen, if you, if you want. <laughs> if for some reason you don't want to, you can also feel free to mute the video and just watch the Kratos Sim process. Th that's totally fine. <laughs> Like, I don't care. Um, but yeah, anyway. So now let's get on to talking about uh, Diamond here in more depth. So Diamond is one of the members of royalty when it comes to the game. So he is one of the princes. Um, he is the prince of Brodia. In fact, he is the crowned prince of Brodia. So if something was to happen to his father, he would become the king of uh, uh, yeah, so he does <laughs> because, you know, this game pretty quickly because in in retrospect of everything that happens, I'm not gonna lie, this this game killed a few different people that were in parental roles pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> Diamond's dad was one of them. And I was like, so any time, like after, because there was one that happened and then there was Diamond's dad and then there was another one. And I was like, so anytime one of the other characters' parents came on scene, whether it was the first time meeting them or we were running back into them again, I was like, please, there's already been enough death. <laughs> Don't kill him. And plus, considering the fact that every single one of the princes and princesses only had one parent, 
because something story-wise happened to the other parent already, I'm like, just stop! Just don't do it anymore, please. <laughs> but, so yeah. Um, you actually meet Diamant's brother first, which is another one of my top five. I love Alcrest as well as Diamant. They're, I, they're both characters that I really, really, really like. And <laughs> so I befriended both of them. <laughs> um, ultimately, in the end, Diamant was the one. So you get the, eventually you get like a ring. Um, I forgot what the ring was called right now. But um, you can give it as a gift, as a sign of, in this game, it can mean a few different things. In the past, your character in other Fire Emblem ones, um, you could have like a significant other. It was very obvious this obvious that that was what it was going for. This one in particular, depending on who you gave it to, it may just be a sign of friendship and, uh, like, close friendship, loyal, like, loyalty in a friendship sort of way, and then the others was a relationship sort of way. Diamonds definitely seemed more like a relationship type way, and I think I actually eventually looked it up and there was, like, a list of people who was more of, like, an actual relationship versus people it was, like, a platonic friendship type thing, and Diamant was in the more romantic one. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I, that's what I did. I I gave him that, and I think his gift back to me was also another ring. So, yeah. <laughs> so, th that was my choice, because I just, I, I really like Diamant. And I think if I remember when it comes down to it, out of my top five characters, only two of them would have took a romantic turn if I would have chose them. The other three would have been all platonic. Alcrest was platonic. Tamara is platonic, like just a friendship. And then Yannicka, she, even though she looks like she's around the same age, I guess, you know, she's just not the, the relationship committing type. I think Alcrest and Tamara, it's it, more the fact that they are supposed to be younger. They're the younger siblings, even though Tamara is the crowned princess but that's because she lives in a queendom not a kingdom so if the queen has a daughter then obviously she gets it <laughs> before her eldest son so yeah anyway um so yeah those diamond and ivy are my other two and they're the only ones that would have turned into like a romantic type thing and though i love ivy i like diamond a little bit better so <laughs> yeah but um so diamond you actually run into pretty early in the game um or decently early i would say and and you like because you go to uh he lives in brodia and you go to brodia pretty quickly on because there's like four different kingdoms slash queendoms um well there's three queen kingdoms and then one queendom um so there's four of them you go to brodia second so it's a pretty early on thing so you, you run into diamant pretty early on and let and like honestly even if diamant is not like one of your favorite characters if you are playing through this, I highly suggest do not take him off your team because, and it's not me trying to be biased on the fact that he is my favorite character. He just legitimately became so well <laughs> in there. Him and Ivy especially, I think I could have for the, except the thing with Ivy is that arrows were a weakness to her. So sometimes I had to watch with her, but for the most part, I could have probably sent those two totally on their own, no other team members with them. And they would have lived for the most part and been fine. Like nothing, it was good. I rarely had any issues where they were struggling. So, <laughs> um, so I, I would say, yeah. Uh, those two and Tamara I sent off alone a lot, but Tamara I left Ike with her because I just had this thing, like, if they were gifted, like, if that was the ring of their people, like, for the, um, emblems, if that was their people's emblem, I purposely left those ones with them, so I kept Roy with Diamant, um, I kept Celine with, oh, what is her name, Silica, I kept, uh, Ike with Tamara, Ivy kept Lynn, so on and so forth. Um, when it came to those people that it was like, it seemed like they were handed those down because of their their family, I kept those with them. And some of the other ones I moved around, but otherwise for those, those stayed the same. So Tamara had the cool move where I could just sort of put her out by herself, do Ike's little special thing, and for most, like she did, she took little to no damage during the next enemy's turn and then all of a sudden if they all crowded around her she would kill most of them so <laughs> those three I sent alone a few different times because I, I had confidence in them <laughs> I didn't have confidence in my own character 
<laughs> but those three, they were good. And I, I didn't fear for them. <laughs> but yeah. So, <laughs> I'm also not going to lie. Especially with Diamond since he was my favorite. A big reason why I got into Fire Emblem was because I played Smash Brothers. And I really liked the characters Marth and Roy. And I was like, oh, they're cool. I like them. What game are they from? I sort of want to play them. And Roy was my favorite. And to this day, Roy is still my Smash Brothers main. So part of me was just being biased there for keeping Roy with Diamant. Because I was like, Diamant's already my favorite. Roy is one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters in general. Even though I never got to play Roy's game. Because of the nostalgia from Smash Brothers and the fact that he's my main in Smash Brothers, he's one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. And there's a statue of Roy that is like, I think it's still in pre-order phase, but financially I don't feel comfortable getting it and it's making me sad inside. But anyway, that's a totally different story. <laughs> I was like, even if I wasn't doing the whole thing of keeping if it was in y'all's family I was keeping it with you I'd still keep Roy with him because those are like two of my favorite Fire Emblem characters at this point and I wanted to keep them together so yeah <laughs> yeah as far as the armor part of his outfit I don't think it's too close but at least has the color scheme and I was able to give him the cape even though the cape is a lot brighter red than I would like it to be it's whatever, but I feel like the casual outfit, which still doesn't really look casual, but I mean, he is a crown prince, so I guess that, you know, that makes it. I think that looks closer to that outfit than the armored outfit that I had to give him, but I tried, and ultimately, I still was pretty happy with it. I think, honestly, definitely not one of the closest fitting ones to the characters I made. I think one of the closest fitting ones was actually, um, was Etty. I think Etty looks pretty... I, I was pretty proud of that one. And see, that was one of the characters that I'm like... I didn't have anything against her, but she wasn't one of my favorites. But I think Sims-wise, her Sims version, I'm probably more proud of hers than I am most of them. Uh, so yeah. But anyway, if you kept the sound on, thank you for making it to the end of this video. And you should be seeing lovely screenshots of my Diamant Sim at this point. But yeah, thank you for uh, making it to the end. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know all that lovely YouTube goodiness. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my Diamant Sim here. Uh, did you think he turned out well? Do you like the Sim? Uh, so on and so forth. <laughs> and such. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts about it. And I hope you're looking forward to the next Create a Sim series. I will let you know it will be a slightly shorter series because the one that the wheel spent spend was one that sort of makes it sort of a, um, you know what? You know, I, I could tell y'all people, y'all people, sadly the people who may have muted who watch this don't get this information, but it, it is based off of Rainbow. It spinned Rainbow Occults. I won't say which occult that I, I, I rolled a dice to see which occult it would be. So I'm not gonna tell you which occult I got. But it is rainbow colored sims for a cult. So I will be doing like, you know, the red, you know, red, orange, yellow, you know, so on, so forth. The rainbow colors for the occult sims. Uh, so obviously there is a set number of it. So it'll be a smaller series. I'm thinking about maybe doing at least a white sim that represent clouds that are sometimes drawn with rainbows. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Uh, or, well, I guess not see you. What is a good word to actually... Anyway, I hope, you, I hope you're there at the next video watching and stuff. You know, I never really thought about saying see because I can't see y'all. But yeah, anyway. Bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> for now.